abominations. It's not the natural order of life. Hmm, donuts. Hey guys, welcome to another Aqua Chat. And in this Aqua Chat, we're going to actually talk about genetic modifications, or rather the glowfish. And I'm sure a lot of you guys heard about the glowfish. But before we move on, if you're interested in aquarium topics or you want to learn more about aquariums or you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you know when I make new videos as well as do live streams. So I'm curious, I want to get everyone's opinion here and want to know what you think about glowfish. If you don't already know, a glowfish is a fish that has been genetically modified so it's always glowing. So it's always glowing these pretty colors in your fish tank. Now it got really, really popular and a lot of people buy it for a pretty hefty price I would say. Now let's not get this confused with the old school glass fish or whatever that, that gets injected with dye or what have you and that really destroys the you know quality of life of the fish and they, they don't live long. This is a completely different thing. This we're talking about is actually genetically modified fish which they actually splice the genes so that they can breed the fish so that they would glow a certain color. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because in Heidi's fish tank in one of her videos, she actually goes into about what a glowfish actually is. So that's kind of, this whole video is kind of, you know, dedicated to her and that video itself. Not only because, well, she challenged me to a, you know, my first fish tank video, which I've already done. So I have no clue how to like redo it. And I've just recently done it. So, well, whatever. So this is for you, Heidi. If you haven't checked out her channel, check out her channel. Links down below in the description. So I want to hear your side of it. What do you think about it? Now, when I first set up the office tank, uh, one of my coworkers there, she's like, oh, let's get these. And, you know, she's surfing Google and she's f trying to find fish that she likes. And um, I looked at it. I was like, oh, no, not glowfish. Come on, not glowfish. And basically, it's like, it's so pretty. It's going to make, you know, the tank look pretty. I'm like, oh, that's going to make the tank look so doggone ugly. Now, now I understand the appeal to it for, you know, the younger kids or, you know, first time fish tank enthusiasts. They're like, oh, wow, look at these fish. These fish are so awesome. The problem is, is for me anyways, it doesn't have to do with more about it be being genetically modified or it being the company itself that does it and that has patented the rights to, you know, only allowing certain people to breed that type of fish or whatever. That's a whole different story that I really don't want to get into. And honestly, I could care less about. What mainly makes it or breaks it for me really is that it's so gimmicky. And that's the reason why I, I the reason why I do fishing is that I just like the natural look. It's, I like it when it's natural, even though aquascaping and all that stuff, we are actually forcing the tanks and plants to grow a certain way and you're picking the stock based on how you want the tank to look, it's still a huge leap from genetically modifying something like a fish in order to make your tank look ooh so pretty. Now basically just a backstory, what they did was they genetically spliced DNA into the fish from other type of animals that have colors like corals and jellyfish and, and that type of stuff. It was based off or started out as some kind of experiment or something. Anyways, Heidi explains it all in her video, but that's basically how it started. And you know, there's some thoughts out there. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people going, well, they're just playing God, that's wrong. Or if it's not a religiously moral problem, then what is it for them? Why don't they like it other than for me? I just think it just looks gimmicky and I don't like gimmicky tanks. That's the whole reason why I kind of scrapped the whole idea that I had before about doing this whole war gaming tank where there's, you know, this battle scene or whatever going on. It was just too gimmicky for me and it was just a lot of work and I just don't want to put in all that work for something that I just not going to like later on, right? Because at the end of the day, it's going to be in my place. I'm going to see it every day and I'm probably going to just let the tank die because I'm just not interested because it just got so gimmicky. Let me know what your pins are about the genetic modified fish by leaving a comment down below. Now, again, I think I might be making a leap here because we kind of do kind of play that kind of God game where we do, like for guppies example, we're trying to breed uh, guppies in a certain way so that they give out certain colors. We breed shrimps in certain ways so we get a different color so that we can create a different breed and stuff like that. Is that, in your opinion, the same thing as well? Again, another opinion I would like to hear about from you. Again, leave the comment down below and let me know. 
Thanks for watching guys. Hit that notification button and that bell icon if you're new here and like this video. Share this video where you can. I love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.